Hello and welcome to Lara Nara and in today's video we continue our exciting journey of finding out what really causes chronic diseases and if you haven't watched it already we've already posted some videos on microparasites as the main cause of many chronic diseases including cancer and in today's presentation we're gonna explore another major cause of chronic diseases that we don't often hear about and it's called mycoplasma and we're gonna tell you everything there is to know about it what mycoplasma is how to detect it what the symptoms are and then propose a holistic natural therapy plan based on natural supplements that really work as well as energy medicine devices that can help you with this mycoplasma infection and its insidious effects so without further ado let's dive right in and learn more about the mycoplasma epidemic And we really have to ask ourselves why we are in the situation we are right now. Why are there in North America so many sick people that live with multiple chronic conditions? Why um, are so many diagnosed with Lyme disease, with chronic fatigue syndrome, with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases? Why is also the medical and pharmaceutical industry not able to find a treatment to reduce this terrible suffering? Why also are the diseases in Europe less virulent and easier to treat while on other continents similar conditions uh, like those in the US and Canada are not even known? And to better understand the situations, we need to have a look at the mycoplasma history. And mycoplasma has spread tremendously after 1960 and is today one of the fastest growing epidemic factors. And I highly recommend, after you've watched this presentation, if you want to know more about it, uh, even though I'm going to show you, of course, the most important facts about mycoplasma, that you also listen to Professor's, uh, Professor Emeritus, Dr. Garth Nicholson. He has over 600 scientific papers in his name. He was also a leading authority on the Gulf War syndrome. Uh, and um, he researched this mycoplasma uh, as uh, one of the major causes of the Gulf War syndrome extensively and was even appointed by the US House of Representatives as an expert on that matter. So if you want to go deeper into the whole mycoplasma, then we will already go into in this presentation. I highly recommend that you watch some of uh, his work. I'm going to post links in the description box below for you. But you don't have to go to Dr. Nicholson to learn about mycoplasma. I'm going to show you, as I said already, everything uh, that you need to know, the most important facts about mycoplasma in this presentation. So what is mycoplasma? Mycoplasma are the smallest and simplest self-replicating bacteria. Mycoplasma cell contain the minimum set of organelles essential for growth and replication, which are a plasma membrane, ribosomes and a genome consisting of a double-stranded circular DNA molecule. So mycoplasmas have no cell walls and consequently they are placed in a separate class known as molecules. And uh, so not having a cell wall makes mycoplasma completely resistant to many types of antibiotics. And mycoplasma are also self-replicating bacteria that require cholesterol for membrane function and growth and they depend strictly on the host nutrients which they permanently scavenge to survive. They also have specialized organelles that mediate their inter, um, intimate reinteractions with the eukaryotic cells uh, achieved by surface parasitism and this way they can survive for very long periods of time in the same host. Mycoplasma are so-called gram-positive bacteria. They are very tiny, 4,000 mycoplasma fit into one red blood cell, while as a comparison only 12 Bartonella can fit into one red blood cell of a diameter of only 6 to 8 micrometers. 
Mycoplasma fermentans is the major culprit of for 45% of all Gulf War veterans and the Gulf War syndrome, according to Dr. Nicholson, who unfortunately were never treated correctly according to their conditions. And Mycoplasma fermentans, if you ask yourself what this is, this is a special strain um, which Dr. Nicholson uh, believes was um, bioweaponized um, that you can encounter in Gulf War veterans. And in many other people, unfortunately, nowadays too. Mycoplasma is the major um, contributor to many chronic diseases such as AIDS, ALS, Alzheimer's, Lyme, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer, CFS, autoimmune diseases, autism, multiple sclerosis, and many, many more, such as diabetes, 1, Crohn's syndrome, Parkinson's, uh, collagen vascular diseases, etc. And this was published, for example, in the Nexus magazine. And there are many types of mycoplasma. Mycoplasma bacteria are generally spread by uh, insect bites, such as tick bites, mosquitoes, uh, flea or biting fly bites, or through sexual contact, also contaminated food and airborne droplets. Everyone has been exposed to some form of mycoplasma in their lifetime, and there are over 200 known types of mycoplasma. They can infect both animals and plants. The mycoplasma is highly adaptable and can jump and adapt to new hosts very rapidly. And of those over 200 known types, there are at least 23 different varieties of mycoplasma that can infect humans and are dangerous to us. A few of them are considered harmless, normal flora, but some of them are very aggressive pathogens, such as, for example, the mycoplasma fermentans, which was artificially designed by combining Brucella bacteria nucleus with the Visna virus. It was tested on inmates in Huntsville, Texas uh, prison with disastrous health effects in that region. Dr. Maurice Hillman, a chief virologist at Merck, added also mycoplasma strands to all vaccines he created, causing the AIDS epidemic and the uh, CFS epidemic in the 1970s. Dr. Shi Ching Lo, who was a senior researcher at the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology, also studied mycoplasma as a bioweapon, and there is a patent that uh, is publicly available showing that. And this bioweaponized mycoplasma was used in the Gulf War, and mycoplasma it was therefore, uh, according to uh, Dr. Garth, also the major culprit for the Gulf War veteran syndrome. And unfortunately, those people were never treated correctly, um, and they are still suffering extensively to this day because of that. Dr. Charles Engel who is with the U.S. Institute of Health in Maryland, stated on February uh, 2007 the following, and I quote, I am now of the view that the probable cause of chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, AIDS, multiple sclerosis, and many other illnesses is the mycoplasma infection. I have all necessary documents to prove this. Most infected people are in USA and fewer in Canada. Nowhere else has this mycoplasma affected the population at the same extent." End quote. So what are the uh, major contributing factors to this emerging epidemic? There are three factors. First, the tremendous overuse of antibiotics over the last 70 years. Also, the extreme ecological disruption that humans are exposed to, especially with the increasing number of our population and food globalization, but also the bioweaponizing of specific infectious vectors used by the industrial military complex and the pharma industry. And uh, over the last 65 years, all of these actions combined have led to an aggressive diversification of the most resistant and potential bacterial group that is known as proteobacteria. And this group of pathogens includes the mycoplasma that we're talking about, but also Bartonella, Brucella, Ehrlichia, Anaplasma, Rickettsia, Klebsiella, E. coli, Pseudomonas, Salmonella enterica, which causes typhoid fever, 
Chlamydia, Shigella, Yersinia, Helicobacter, Campylobacter, Borrelia, and many, many more. And most of those pathogens are also identified as Lyme co-infections and contribute significantly to the Lyme patient's symptoms. Another problem that we are facing is that the treatment methods used by the classical medical schools are over 50 years old and have not adapted quickly enough to these new aggressive microorganisms. And universities, for example, nobody teaches uh, the science about reducing the so-called cytokine cascades or they don't put enough focus on boosting immune system and how important that is and the mitochondria respiration. And as I've quickly mentioned already, um, the mycoplasma infection is, comes very often as a common infection with Lyme disease. Equally important is also your immune system health. The outcome of the interactions between the different uh, vectors is strongly dependent on your immune system health and its strength, but also environmental factors and lifestyle timing and sequence of the infections and therefore it is crucial to boost your immune system and to support mitochondrial activity. The impact of multiple co-infections is not additive but synergistic also, the creating effects that are more than the parts of their sum. For example, infection with Babesia and Bartonella can reduce the red blood cell count by 25% leading to anemia, fatigue, breathlessness, and general weakness. However, Babesia bacteria tend to clear the Bartonella over a long period of time, and in the initial stages, their common impact on the red blood cells is immense, same on the spleen and liver. Infections with anaplasma make subsequent infection with Babesia also much easier and Ehrlichia infections combined with Bartonella or Babesia are often more severe and in this case both red and white blood cells become compromised. Co-infected patients with both the Mycoplasma and the Bartonella bacteria are going to show severe symptoms on the endothelial cells but also the red blood cells the brain and the central nervous system that are out of proportion when compared with singular infections. And in this case, the so-called cytokine cascade must be strongly controlled to avoid seizures. It is imperative to diagnose correctly the co-infections in order to modulate your therapy, especially to reduce the inflammatory process, which will stop pretty much all of the symptoms when the therapy protocol is also correctly set up and of course the immune system is strengthened simultaneously. Which are the symptoms that you have to be on the lookout for when it comes to mycoplasma infection? Well, those of you with chronic Lyme disease are quite familiar with names such as Babesia, Bartonella and Ehrlichia. Unfortunately, these are not the only co-infections that we see in chronic Lyme disease patients. Mycoplasma co-infections are lesser known by patients and seemingly often overlooked also by doctors, but they are very prevalent in Lyme disease patients and therefore it is imperative to treat Lyme disease patients also for their mycoplasma co-infections. The symptoms of mycoplasma infections are highly variable, unspecific many times and therefore easy, uh, easily overlooked. However, the following symptoms are common for Lyme co-infections with mycoplasma. Chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome, joint pain, headaches, intermittent fever, nausea, gastrointestinal problems, recurrent diarrhea, visual disturbances, memory loss, sleep disturbances, skin rashes, joint stiffness, depression, irritability, night sweats, concentration loss, muscle spams, nervousness, anxiety, chest pain, breathing irregularities, balance problems, vertigo, light sensitivity, hair loss, urination and bladder problems, congestive heart failure, blood pressure abnormalities, lymph node pain and inflammation, persisting coughing, eye pain, floaters in the eyes, 
and wrongly all of these symptoms are often allocated um, and associated with the Borrelia bacteria. However, the major cause is a mycoplasma co-infection. And in North America, mycoplasma fermentans, which is a designed bioweaponized mycoplasma, and mycoplasma pneumoniae are predominant. In Europe, mycoplasma hominis is prevalent. And generally, the majority of patients with chronic fatigue syndrome have mycoplasma infections. However, Lyme patients have an even stronger prevalence of mycoplasma uh, of about 75%. Over 50% are infected with mycoplasma fermentans and about 25% with mycoplasma pneumonia. The rate of Lyme patients that are infected with mycoplasma surpasses that of Bartonella, which is about 25-40% to 40 only, and that of Babesia, which is even lower at 8-10%. to 10%. People with a good immune system and a healthy lifestyle can deal with the mycoplasma infections though. So you really need to take care of your immune system and I'm going to show you how. But first we need to talk about mycoplasma testing. And there is a big problem because there are no reliable tests for mycoplasma available from uh, medical labs right now. We do, however, here at Lyra Nara offer you DNA scans that can help you identify with a very high accuracy the mycoplasma infections as well as uh, hundreds of other pathogens. And for doctors and professional healthcare givers, we highly recommend to use uh, electrodermal screening testing. If we recommend a EDS system called Vistron with the Homopath software which can diagnose mycoplasma and many other pathogens. I'm going to link the Vistron system, of course, and the Homopath software in the description box below for you. And also contact us for the DNA scans, contact information, as always, in the description box as well. In chronic Lyme disease, it is also often difficult to know which infections are actually responsible for the illness's persistence. Chronic intracellular infections that change the cellular metabolism and suppress mitochondrial functions will lead to patients remaining in a chronically ill state and therefore these infections must be aggressively treated. And we do have also scientific evidence that uh, shows that mycoplasma bacteria are associated with the microparasite and microparasitically infections that we already talked about as a major cause, for example, of cancer. And the infection, proliferation and development stages occur in the same way for both mycoplasma and the microparasites. The first stage is intravascular, where they are within your blood vessels, and then um, they go into the extravascular phase and finally, they infect the connective tissue and they invade also your stem cells and destroy them. Now that we've learned what mycoplasma is, how to detect it and what the symptoms are, let's uh, propose a therapy approach that is based only on natural supplements and remedies as well as energetical medicine. Mycoplasma therapy is very complex and usually takes about six to eight months until all symptoms will subside. The protocols can be varied considerably depending on the patient's immune state and other major symptoms. And in this video, we will present a starting point uh, in mycoplasma therapy, which must be customized to each patient's needs, however. The body needs to be bathed in uh, counteractants to the mycoplasma cytokine cascade and the membrane proteins for a long time to turn the physiological condition around and make the cellular environment unpleasant enough for the mycoplasma population. And uh, here some uh, treatments that need to be uh, performed to address this mycoplasma infection during the therapy. We need to replace the nutrients that have been scavenged by the mycoplasma. We also need to reduce the specific cytokine cascades that the mycoplasma has initiated. We must boost the immune system and the mitochondria. We must support also and repair the organs as well as the neuronal cell damages. 
Also, we must take care of specific symptoms and last but not least support the lymphatic system and the liver for detoxification purposes. And here is our proposed basic natural remedy protocol. First, we recommend Herbeso Mycoplasma Antibacterial, which is a proprietary vivid artemisinin blend. We, you, you should use it for 42 days and uh, combine it with uh, many other antibacterial herbs, uh, such as the ones that I'm going to present to you also here. The dosage one um, teaspoon four to six times per day for eight weeks and it's going to be the same for the rest of the products that I'm going to introduce you to. And by the way, all of the Herbeso products can be exclusively obtained at laranara.me and I'm going to link all of those products in the description box below for you. Second, we recommend a Herbeso Immune Booster, which is again a proprietary blend of ultra pure DMSO with uh, different natural herbs. Uh, then the Herbeso Mitochondria Energy Boost, or sh um, also called the Herbeso MIT, which is again a proprietary blend like all Herbeso products of Ultra Pure DMSO with different natural uh, herbs. Then the Herbeso LLS, the Lymphatic and Liver Stimulation, and the Herbeso Cytokine Stop, which again uh, you should take for about eight weeks. But that's of course not all. Uh, you also have many specific symptoms uh, of a mycoplasma infection that you need to address. For example, urinary tract infections. And here we recommend a Herbeso urinary infection free. Um, again, all of the Herbeso products linked in the description box below. And all of them should be taken uh, six times per day, uh, one a teaspoon for eight weeks. Then for cervix and vaginal infections, take the Herbeso vaginal infection free. For lung infections, the Herbeso lungs infection free. For severe anemia, Herbeso anemia free. For severe CNS infections and uh, neuronal cell destructions, we recommend the Herbeso NPR. For severe neuronal pain, the Herbeso painkiller works great. For anxiety and panic attacks, take the Herbeso anti-anxiety. For sleep disturbances, we recommend the Herbeso sleep well. For severe fatigue, Herbeso MIT together with Herbeso adrenal balance. For severe joint symptoms, so rheumatoid arthritis, uh, take the Herbeso joints well. And for severe weight loss, we recommend uh, shiitake mushrooms but also lentinin extract and fermented non-GMO organic wheat germs, 9 grams per day. Next, let's take care of uh, replacing the scavenged nutrients. So, as I've mentioned already, the mycoplasma bacteria utilizes many of your body's own nutrients and therefore replacing these nutrients is very, very important. And replenishing the depleted nutrients can be done by combining an adequate nutrition and diet with supplements and herbs. And here is the herbs and supplements that we recommend for this, as well as the diet. As a diet, we recommend a ketogenic diet. And uh, as far as vitamins and other nutrients go, B vitamins are very deeply scavenged. So take them through nutrition and supplements. But also choline, we recommend 500 milligrams daily. Uh, for example, eggs, dark chocolate and peanuts contain choline. Zinc, 50 milligrams daily. And seeds such as sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, watermelon uh, see and also garlic contain a lot of zinc. Copper, 2 to 5 milligrams daily. You can find it also in liver and oyster and other seeds. Selenium, 200 uh, milligrams daily. They uh, can be found, for example, also naturally in eggs, mushrooms, poultry, onion, as well as grains. Amino acids are very important as well. Uh, all of the amino acids should be taken and supplemented. Fatty acids, here you can consume, for example, coconut and olive oil, about 250 grams daily. 
uh, RNA and DNA complex 500 to 1500 milligrams daily you can find this for example in chlorella and spirulina and apart from the natural remedies and supplements we highly recommend that you also apply bioenergetic therapy and here well, first we recommend galvanic therapy as the most important and potent therapy modality to assist the treatment of the mycoplasma and here at Laranara you can get exclusively the Veget Balance for home use and the Veget Balance TerraPro for a professional galvanic therapy. Links of course to all of these devices in the description box below for your convenience. Exceptionally helpful is also microcurrent therapy, for example with the diamond shield crystal, which also comes with specific uh, chip cards for Lyme disease and the co-infections that we discussed. To recover, detox and also help restore the functions of the different cells, tissues and organs, we highly recommend photon and laser therapy systems for consumers, the ULD117, also known as the ultra compact laser disc, and for doctors we recommend the MPS912. And to improve the lymph as well as the blood circulation and ameliorate the symptoms, the relief pain, we recommend the Aquatone Advance for home use and the Aquatone Professional for health practitioners. We also need to restore the ANS balance and trigger the autoregulation. And here there is no better device than the Kindlink Easy. It's an exceptional systemic biofeedback device. It's totally automated and easy to operate at home as well as by health professionals. So let's sum it all up and see what we've learned today. Mycoplasma is an epidemic and in fact over 85% of the North American population is affected by it. Mycoplasma infections manifest with many different symptoms and predominantly appear in chronic fatigue syndrome, Lyme disease as a major co-infection, but also in respiratory diseases, Gulf War syndrome, cancer, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular conditions, neurodegenerative diseases and urogenital conditions as well as many many more that we've presented to you. Mycoplasma is an ubiquitous bacteria of the proteobacteria group which is a tiny pathogen with no cell walls and it penetrates your red blood cells and transmits its own DNA to you. And from the 200 mycoplasma specimens about 23 are infectious for humans and the most aggressive ones for humans and uh, often found also in humans are uh, Amphoriform, uh, Bucali, Fermentans, Genitalium, Hominis, uh, Lipophilum, Orali, Penetrans, Pyrum, Pneumonia, Primatum, Salivarium and Spermatophilum. Mycoplasma is the major cause of diseases such as chronic fatigue syndrome, joint pain, headaches, intermittent fever, nausea, gastrointestinal problems, recurrent diarrhea, visual disturbances, memory loss, sleep disturbances, skin rashes, joint stiffness, depression, irritability, night sweats, concentration loss, muscle spasms, nervousness, anxiety, chest pain, breathing irregularities, balance problems, vertigo, light sensitivity, hair loss, urination and bladder problems, congestive heart failure, blood pressure abnormalities, lymph node pain and inflammation, persistent coughing, eye problems such as eye pain and floaters in the eyes. And unfortunately, these symptoms and conditions are often uh, associated with the Borrelia bacteria, However, as we've learned in this presentation, presentation the major cause is a mycoplasma co-infection. Diagnosing mycoplasma is very difficult and today there are no lab tests uh, offered that can uh, bring you a reliable result. We do, however, offer here at Laranara DNA as well as EDS tests that will help you determine mycoplasma infections. And mycoplasma therapy is multiple faceted and must be customized to the patient's symptoms and needs. 
The supplements play a very important role as we need to replenish the nutrients which the mycoplasma has depleted as it leaves on our own nutrients and thereby it depletes our own cell. And we have presented here a proven natural therapy to eradicate mycoplasma bacteria but also reduce the cytokine cascade and support and boost the immune system as well as the mitochondrial uh, system with some hints regarding the specific symptoms which most often appear in mycoplasma infected patients. And this kind of therapy is well supported by the different bioenergetic as well as photo therapy devices that I've presented to you, links to all of the natural supplements and remedies and to the bioenergetic as well as the phototherapy devices in the description box below. And it is also important to test and treat all Lyme disease patients as these patients are more than 75% of them are infected with mycoplasma as we've learned. And if you need personal advice and consultation on what is best for you, please do not hesitate to contact us, shop at laranar.com. The complete contact information, including our toll-free number, is going to be in the description box below for your convenience. So please do not hesitate, contact us for personal advice and with all of your questions. If you've enjoyed this presentation, please also do not forget to like, share and subscribe and support our work. It greatly helps us. And with all that being said, I hope that you stay healthy. Until next time.